fire. We passing on all the weak ish. Talk to pure culture, ain't none of that hype beast ish. Nah, this beginning to the end, no. Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo. Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, know the God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hendo. I'm out. Right, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy again, Saint Hendo. More new content. That intro was crazy. Like, uh, shout out to my boy J5. He the one that did it for me. Um, I put the visuals together. He did the audio. So, I love it. Absolutely amazing. That ain't the final intro, but that'll be the one I'll be using for a while. Now. All right. So, on to what we got going on today. So, what we doing are we're gonna do a quick look at the Kobe 8 Mamba Curios and the Kobe 11 Mamba Curios. All right. So, it's a big thing now, especially because like I got these for the low. Like back when, you know, Kobe was alive before everything went crazy. Like, and it's still, it was like two, three hundred bucks. But now they're going for like eight hundred thousand dollars. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. But it is what it is. But I got these before. So let's look at the eights first. This is the sneaker that started the whole Mamba Curio thing because he has a couple of different colorways in it. So both sneakers are the same. So I just put this up, you know, bagged up as usual. All right. So. Nothing crazy about the box. Same, if you got any Kobe 8s, it's the same Kobe 8 box. Um, I do all my, uh, I do the little sneaker stickers for mine. I do, I do these custom. That way I don't have to keep opening up boxes. I get tired of that. So I know what's in there. <laughs> all right, so uh, this is actually, it's Kobe sneaker, don't get me wrong. But the thing about these are that these are a mix between Kobe's and the, uh, um, the Mercurial soccer shoes. So, the, boy, the soccer sneakers. So that's what these are, truly. And that's what makes them so unique and more so sought after when they first drop. Cause it's a, it's a basketball sneaker mixed with a soccer cleat, so to say. So, very dope. I love the colorway. I love the big swoosh. That's the main thing about it. The big lime green swoosh and the big Nike branding on the side, love it. Other than that, it's really no different from any other Kobe 8, generally. Um, but it's, it's definitely nice. I, I like the material. It's like this back heel tab. I love that. But check it out. So you can even see how like the swoosh is kind of almost textured in on top of the material. And also how the Nike branding goes because it's almost textured in on the end portion. All right. This is the sneaker that started a lot of the Mama Cure because I believe it's the it's the 8, 11, and I want to say um, it might have been like a 12 maybe. Like I don't remember the last one, but it's it's three of them total. I know that much. The official Mama Curios. So this is the 8. Very dope. Very nice. Very clean. Not, not too much. I didn't want to do a lace swap in these because I just like how this looks. I thought about putting the same color laces as the green swoosh. That was what I considered. So, this is dope. All right, cool. So let's sit this off to the side. All right, so now we got the 11s, all right? Same 11 box, nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? And I also, again, I got these way early on. So, bagged up as usual. But I'll tell you, let me check this out. I don't care for these as much. I do like them though, but they are not, you know, and you know, I got these off of StockX. You know, like I said, many, many moons ago, it was a StockX tag right there. Um, so once again, I got these for way cheaper than what they're going for now. And that's only because Kobe passed. Kobe had in the past, people weren't after Kobe's like that. It just wasn't a highly sought for shoe. People are more so after it now due to resale. That's really it. But see the difference between these two See, I care for the 8 more so than the 11. Even just the colorway. It's generally the same colorway, but it's a lot more vibrant on this one and a lot darker on this 8. So I like that a lot more. This is more almost like a, a high pink or something like that. Like, I don't know. Uh, I could just read the colors of the box, but that ain't what I'm about to do. Uh, we'll just do a little guesswork. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's generally the same colorway. It's almost the exact same thing, the, sa the, the same style, except for it's not a big swoosh. It's the little swoosh on the side. It's the little swoosh. So the regular, like regular size Nike swoosh opposed to the big one. And I prefer this style more so than this one. Um, but it's still clean, I, because I like the colorway. 
that was the big thing about it. I generally, truly do like the colorway. Nothing crazy about it, just still has zoom air in it. Both of them have zoom air. Um, insole is almost identical. Like with the, uh, hold on, let's get this together really quick. You got the paper in there. So see, it's like the green, has the green in there too. Yeah, so that's the main comparison, I guess. More so than anything. Like I said, it's nice, but I just prefer the eight. If you were gonna spend big money to buy some, buy these, buy the eights. Like, don't don't get these. These aren't, to me, these aren't worth whatever they're charging. I don't even know what they're charging, but I know it's not worth it. This, this is the original, this is the one you want. That's, this it. But I do love these, Kobe's are crazy. Uh, I've been a fan of Kobe since well before he passed. I got a gang of Kobe's. Like I said, it's, the price is through the roof now, only because he passed. If they want to pass, like it was real easy to get your hands on Kobe's. That, that was the whole principle behind it. It's nothing, because a lot of the Kobe's are kind of mimic the last Kobe. Like, once he went to low tops, it was generally, he didn't change much about the shoe year to year. The sneaker was generally the same year to year to year, uh, until really he got to like the elites, like the non elites, I believe, when they went high top, like almost like wrestling boots. But other than that, that's why nobody really cared for him. But all of a sudden now, because he passed, everybody wants him. And I understand that. Like everybody wants him, and people, most people only want him to resell him. I don't really resell anything. Like, if I buy it, I'm keeping it. That's generally how I get down. So that was it, but really just a quick look at it, not really a big review. Um, like I said, it's a lot of these on YouTube, so I just want to put my spin on it. See, I considered doing a lace swap on these, but eh, I'm not too pressed about doing a lace swap on these either. Um, but I, I like them kind of how they are. Uh, it's a couple of them I have done lace swaps on, a couple of other Kobe's. Uh, so we'll, I'm sure we'll get to those eventually. Once again, I appreciate you guys for stopping by, checking me out, seeing what's going on. Uh, more content still coming, still creating stuff, step by step. But hopefully you guys like that intro. It's crazy, I'll link all his info in the, uh, in the description for this video. So that way, if you wanna get in contact with him for something for you, more power to you. Um, that's my man, that's my brother, uh, real solid dude. But he, he did an amazing job on the intro. I appreciate you guys. Thanks again for all the support, all the new subscribers. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, later.